Hi, today I'm going to be changing the belt. I'm putting in a new tensioner pulley into my car. Um, I'm replacing the pulley bolt, the water pump pulley um, bolt, the four bolts. Also, I'm adding a cap to the idler pulley. Um, this is what happened to my old water pump pulley on the highway while I was driving. It shattered and my old idler pulley exploded leaving this in the car this is all that was left and the belts were like gone um, shredded so I replaced the idler pulley but after doing that I realized it also needed this, this boy which is the tensioner pulley I got the whole unit instead of just the wheel you could just get the wheel but I just got the whole entire thing also I got new belts And this is the inside of the car. As you can see, I removed the main belts. Um, when I replaced the aluminum pulley, I realized that the bolts were bent, actually. So I bought those bolts to replace them. These are 10, milli 10 millimeter bolts. Really easy to come out. And behind that is the water pump. I'm going to check my water pump bearing. This is checking your water pump bearing. You just spin the pulley. And can see because the screws are bent the bolts are bent this is like a little wobbly but the bearing of the water pump pulley is sound compared to the tensioner pulley see that is what I'm replacing because that's done I replaced the idler pulley with the new one as you can see that one is pretty good I already started taking the bolts out so a little rattly but I'm gonna remove this to remove that and then I'm gonna change the bolts in this and I'll do another video when I'm done doing that but to remove these are pretty easy and to remove these bolts are easy uh, as you can see I took the fan off and I had these in temporary belts I was using um, spare belts that I actually put may have put on the car the wrong direction of the way it spins so it's making everything wobble in the belt drive system that's pretty much it